my career was going great guns. I was singing and dancing and acting and going to LA and doing pilot seasons. And then suddenly when this whole thing took place, it just put me down, completely down. Initially, I heard a deep sort of pop in my back of my uh, jaw. There was deep, deep, deep pain. In the, and then these crazy tremors started to happen and then vertigo and the symptoms kept getting worse and worse and worse for years and I couldn't figure out what was happening. Nobody could figure out what was happening. And then what started to happen was my disc in my neck just started to herniate, every single one of them. I was trapped inside my own body, so it was bizarre. I found uh, Dr. Lebel through my podiatrist. He said, there's only one place to go, and that's HSS. Dr. Lebel, because he knew what I did for a living, Dr. Lebel wasn't talking about taking out all my disc. He wasn't talking about fusing you know, level two through five, he was talking about doing one level. Janet has a very active lifestyle, and so it is important to take that into consideration when treating the whole patient. And so we decided together, let's go in and do this. He said, let's fix the worst one. I really trusted his bedside manner, just the calm. I've never felt that comfortable in the hospital in, my, in all my surgeries. HSS is like family. They treat you like family. You feel special. It was a pretty intense surgery, but so many of the symptoms started to disappear. My back feels better. Your back feels better? My legs feel better. Okay. Everything feels better. Good. It made a huge difference. I have had 11 surgeries, but I've had four with HSS. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right, we'll take care of you, okay? Okay. See you in a few minutes. Thank okay. you. The first thing that I did for Janet was she had a disc herniation in her lumbar spine, and it was in an area where it was impinging on a nerve root. And so through a small microsurgical uh, incision, went in in the operating room and removed that herniation. Now the second surgery that Janet had had to do with a pinched nerve in her neck or cervical spine. I performed a minimally invasive decompression of the nerve and was able to rebuild the disc such that she had a good stable disc. And then there was the femoral nerve entrapment. We've uh, got to know each other in the last few years and as these things come up, try to get her back to her uh, high level of performance. And Dr. Level said, you come in, I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna open up that bone, I'm gonna release that femoral nerve. Not bad. Yeah, so we went in through the old scar. Technology's changing all the time, in particular in a field like spinal surgery. And nowadays I'm doing surgeries through much smaller incisions, much uh, less invasive than we were even a few years ago. When I woke up, it was like, Bliss. Her recovery has really been great and I, I've enjoyed watching Janet progress through that and you really see it uh, not only in her activities and what she's been able to do in terms of her performances but also just in the smile she brings each time she comes into the office. It's not even the increased mobility. I had not been able to sing. That was the last thing that I felt like was taken away from me. feel like an artist again. It feels wonderful. It feels wonderful. It was mind-blowing because I had not sang like that in three and a half years. And yesterday when I was working on memory and I had to sing, touch me, it was like, whoa. Mm -hmm.